NPA is in crisis at the moment. There's, there's no two ways about it. And something needs to be done. And it's, it's, and it's, it's the house is on fire and you need to put the fire out. And the new prosecution's boss, Shamila Batoy, is planning to douse the flames. Even as she's preparing to take up her new job, she'll have to look at her colleagues as damning allegations have been made against senior prosecutors Nongkobo Jiba and Lawrence Mkhwebi at the Mohoro inquiry. Commissioner, may we ask on that basis that Mr. Kronier now be provisionally excused? Batoy is known for leading the prosecution of Proteus captain Hansi Kronier, but she's also previously led the NPA in KwaZulu-Natal. For the past few years, she's been a senior legal advisor at the International Criminal Court. It's not just about us. It's about victims. It's about the people of this country. We brought justice for victims on individual cases. Now the entire country is almost like a victim. But who was she before this? Long before Batoy climbed the country's legal ladder, she lived with her family on this road in Clare Estate. Her school, Burnwood Secondary, is only a few kilometers away. Vanesh Gokul attended school with her. He's now the principal. I know personally, um, know her family. She was amazing from young. I mean, anyone looking at her knew she was headed for greatness. Academically, outstanding as a student, outstanding, and in sport. When you've got someone both spectrum, sometimes you get a kid that's good in academics but not in sport and uh, vice versa. She's good in everything, but a very nice person. He recalls how in awe he was of her. The family was sprinters. Now, this is stuff you won't find in the news, okay? She included, and her brothers, they could run like the wind. You know, when we hear, right, it's going to be like, Sujay, that's going to be in this 400 meter sprint. I, I wouldn't, oh, no, 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 compete with these guys. About 45 years later, this former physical education teacher remembers her first impressions of the young Batoy. Very, very focused on her work, very uh, enthusiastic, energetic, should be the first one on the field for the education, physical education lessons. A very good athlete, uh, a sprinter. Each one of us, no matter where we are, must be ready to sacrifice the necessary to fight the good fight. Our country needs us. When she gave that acceptance speech, you know, uh, when President Ramaphosa had appointed her, and I listened to her words, let me tell you something. I know her from a very long time. Those words are real. She wasn't saying it, you know, it was so pro-South Africa, so, so motivating. That's not fake. She really is like that. Her whole family's like that. She may have been a good sprinter, but those in Batoy's hometown say she won't be running away from any of the tough decisions she now faces. Desen Thathia, Durban.